Clear Speech, 4th Edition, by Judy B. Gilbert. This audio program contains recordings that correspond to Clear Speech Students' Book, published by Cambridge University Press in 2012. This recording is copyrighted. CD2 Unit 6 Sentence Focus Emphasizing Content Words Unit 6 A Contrast Step 2 Listen One word in the sentence below is emphasized and the other words are de-emphasized. This is contrast. How do you spell easy? Unit 6. B. Focus words. Listen. How do you spell easy? How do you spell easy? Unit 6. C. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice how the stressed syllable of the focus word in each sentence has a pitch change. This change in melody makes clear which word is important. Follow that car. Which car? The yellow one. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. Use the same melody to emphasize the important words. Follow that car. Which car? The yellow one. Unit 6. D. Finding the focus word. Listen. Underline the focus word that the speaker emphasizes in each sentence. 1. We'll be arriving tomorrow. 2. You look great. 3. She lives in Toronto now. 4. Is the baby walking yet? 5. Where are we going? 6. I'm always hungry. Unit 6. E. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice how the focus words are emphasized. The stressed syllable of each focus word has both a change in pitch and a long, clear vowel. You look confused. That's because I lost my glasses. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. You look confused. That's because I lost my glasses. Unit 6. H. Emphasizing the focus word. Step 1. Listen to the sentences and hear how the focus words are emphasized. My cat eats fish. He loves it, but only fresh fish. He eats slowly. I don't know why he eats that way. Unit 6. J. Pair work. Dialogue. Step 1. Listen to the dialogue. The underlined content word in each sentence is the focus word. The stress syllable is in bold. Notice that there are two focus words in the last sentence because it has two thought groups. Lost glasses. You look confused. That's because I lost my glasses. Where'd you leave them? If I knew that, I could find them. Unit 6. L. Dictation. Listen and write the sentences you hear. 1. 
We all want the best solution. Two. Why are you asking me? Three. Tell me everything you know. Four. There is no snow anywhere. Five. Please show us the photographs. Unit 7. Sentence Focus. De-emphasizing structure words. Unit 7. B. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice how do you and do not are each de-emphasized by reducing their sounds to one syllable. Do you mean the blue one? Don't you mean the red one? Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. Do you mean the blue one? Don't you mean the red one? Unit 7. C. De-emphasizing structure words. Contractions. Step 2. Listen to the difference between some common contractions and their full forms. Repeat the words and tap for each syllable. I am. I'm. Do not. Don't. They have. They've. That is. That's. I would. I'd. I had. I'd. He has. He's. I will. I'll. I have. I've. We have. We've. Will not. Won't. Do you. Do you. Unit 7. F. Saying common expressions with contractions. Listen and repeat these common friendly greetings and expressions. Each one contains a contraction. 1. What's new? 2. How are you doing? 3. How's it going? 4. How have you been? 5. What's up? 6. What'll you have? 7. It's great to see you. 8. I don't believe it. Unit 7. G. Linking in common expressions. Step 1. Listen and notice how some of the words in these expressions link together. 1. How's it going? 2. What's up? 3. I don't believe it. Unit 7. H. De-emphasizing structure words. Reductions. Step 1. Listen to the way the vowels in many of these structure words are reduced to schwa. Also notice how the structure words a, an, and or link to the word that comes before them. 1. 
He takes a bus to work. 2. They wrote a letter to the president. 3. I left an umbrella in your car. 4. She runs or swims every day. Unit 7. I. De emphasizing structure words. Reduced and. Listen to the way and is reduced and linked to the word that comes before it. Cream and sugar. Men and women. Rock and roll. Unit 7. K. De emphasizing structure words. Silent letter H. Step 1. Listen. Notice how the beginning H in these words is silent. Also, notice how the consonant at the end of the first word links to the vowel of the structure word because the H is silent. 1. What's her name? 2. Call him. 3. I can't reach her. Four. Matt lost his jacket. Five. Will he be there? Six. Has anyone seen him? Unit 7. M. Pair work. Dialogue. Step 2. Listen to the dialogue to see if you crossed out every silent H. The missing singer. Where's our singer? I think he's practicing, sir. But we need him on stage now. Well, you know how nervous he gets. Did you tell him the concert's about to start? He's practicing just as fast as he can. Unit 7. N. Limerick. Step 1. Listen. Find the three structure words with a silent H in the following limerick A train ride. A singer once went to Vancouver, thinking the move would improve her. But the trip was so long, and her voice grew so strong, at Toronto they had to remove her. Unit 7. O. Dictation. Listen and write the sentences you hear. 1. Did he give her the book? 2. I'll drive him to work. 3. We shared a sandwich and chips. Four. Where'd he go with your car? Five. I can't believe you don't own an umbrella. Unit 7. P. The spelling I G H pronounced I as in night. Step 1. Listen and repeat these words. Tight. Night. Sight. Right. Thigh. Sigh. High. Bright. Tonight. Mighty. Unit 7. Q. The spelling O O pronounced O O as in moon. Step 1. Listen and repeat these words. 2. Noon. Moon. Cool. Choose. Tool. Balloon. 
foolish. Kangaroo. Boomerang. Unit 8. Choosing the focus word. Unit 8. A. Focus at the beginning of a conversation. Step 1. Listen to the following examples. 1. The dog chased a rabbit. 2. We're waiting for you. 3. What are you doing? Step 2. Listen. Hum the melody of each sentence with the pitch pattern shown. Humming is singing with your mouth closed. 1. Here's a package for you. 2. Put this in the cabinet. 3. I lost my key. 4. I need some sandals. Unit 8. C. Focus after the beginning of a conversation. Step 1. Listen to this dialogue. Notice which word is the focus word in each sentence. The lost hat. I lost my hat. What kind of hat? It was a rain hat. What color rain hat? It was white. White plastic. Hmm. There was a white hat in the car. Which car? The one I sold. Unit 8. D. Pair work. Dialogues. Step 1. Listen and practice this dialogue. Use a change in pitch and an extra long vowel sound to emphasize the underlined focus words. The stressed syllables are in bold. Child at the shoe store. I want some shoes. What kind of shoes? The beautiful kind. Black or brown? Neither. I'm tired of black and brown. I want red shoes. Shiny red shoes. Unit 8. E. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice which words are the focus words. You buy books at the library. No, you borrow books at the library. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. You buy books at the library. No, you borrow books at the library. Unit 8. F. Pair work. Disagreeing and correcting. Step 1. Listen. Notice how the focus word month in the second sentence is a correction for the word week in the first sentence. He was in Spain for a week. No, he was in Spain for a month. Step 2. Listen. The word France in the second sentence is a correction for the word Spain in the first sentence. He was in Spain for a week. No, he was in France for a week. Unit 8. J. Pair work. A disagreement. Listen and underline the focus words. Then practice saying the dialogue with a partner. Two students argue. I bought some books at the library. They don't sell books at the library. They lend books there. They sell books at the bookstore. Didn't you know that? On Tuesdays, they sell books at the library. Surplus books. Surplus? Books they don't need. Extra ones. I didn't know that. There's a lot you don't know. 
Unit 8. K. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice that the peak can go down as well as up to show emphasis. Our copier isn't working. Our what's not working? Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. Our copier isn't working. Our what's not working? Unit 8. L. Pair work. Using focus words to check information. Step 1. Listen and practice being speaker A and speaker B. 1. They got here at 1 o'clock. When did they get here? 2. The party is on the 3rd of May. The 3rd? Unit 8. M. The vowel sound aw as in saw. Step 1. Listen to the sound aw in words where the letter A is followed by W. When A is followed by the letter W, the sound of the vowel is aw, as in saw, about 98% of the time. Repeat each word after you hear it. Paw. Jaw. Law. Lawn. Fawn. Dawn. Prawn. Crawl. Awful. Lawful. Step 2. Listen to the sound aw in words where the letter A is followed by U. When A is followed by the vowel letter U, it is pronounced as aw about 89% of the time. Repeat each word after you hear it. Cause Author Laundry Caution Saucer Applaud Nautical. Audible. Caught. Taught. Step 3. Listen to the sound aw in words where the letter A is followed by the letters LL or LK. When A is followed by L, it is pronounced as aw. About 79% of the time. Repeat each word after you hear it. All. Fall. Ball. Tall. Mall. Recall. Walk. Chalk. Talk. Stalk. Unit 8. N. Dictation. Listen and write the sentences you hear. 1. The wedding is in April. 2. The class begins at 1. Three. What can we take for the party? Four. How many students are going? Five. Is the party at seven or eight? Unit 9. Emphasizing structure words. Unit 9. A. Emphasizing structure words. 
Step 1. Listen to the following sentences. Speaker B is strongly disagreeing with Speaker A. So the structure word am is the most important word in Speaker B's sentence. Notice how it is emphasized. You'll have to wait until you're old enough. But I am old enough. Step 2. Listen to these sentences. The structure word and is emphasized in Speaker B's statement because it corrects the word or in Speaker A's statement. I think she's either scared or excited. Maybe she's scared and excited. Unit 9. B. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Notice in the first sentence that the structure word and is reduced. In the response, and is the focus word, so it is emphasized. Our specialties are steak and lobster. Terrific. I'll have steak and lobster. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. Our specialties are steak and lobster. Terrific. I'll have steak and lobster. Unit 9. C. Pair work. Emphasizing and and can. Listen. Then practice saying these sentences with a partner. Emphasize the focus words with a pitch change and a long, clear vowel sound. 1. Our specialties are steak and lobster. Terrific. I'll have steak and lobster. 2. Which is more important, intelligence or effort? Both. You need intelligence and effort. 3. Did you call at 8 or at 9? I called at 8 and at 9. 4. Do you think you can do the job? Yes, I can. 5. He can write well. Yes, he can, when he wants to. Unit 9. D. Pair work. Emphasizing auxiliary verbs. Listen to each pair of sentences on the next page and notice how auxiliary verbs are emphasized. Then practice saying the sentences with a partner. 1. That's a mean dog. Yes, it is a mean dog, but not as mean as mine. 2. You haven't stopped by in a long time. Yes, I have stopped by, but you're never here. 3. I don't think the train's leaving. Sorry, but I see that it is leaving. 4. I'm not going. Yes, you are going. 5. He won't pay you. Well, I say he will pay me. 6. We're ready. Why aren't you? But I am ready. 7. Why don't you like it? But I do like it. Unit 9. F. Pair work. Emphasizing prepositions and pronouns. Listen. Notice how prepositions and pronouns are emphasized in the responses below. Then practice saying the sentences with a partner. 1. Is the cat on the bed again? No, she's under the bed. 2. You forgot to leave the keys on the desk. I'm sorry, I put them in the desk. 3. If you're going out, please buy some butter. Sorry, I'm just now coming in. 4. I'm freezing. It doesn't seem cold to me.
5. Did you misplace the keys? No, you were the one who had them last. 6. Do you like to argue with your friends? No, but they like to argue with me. 7. Hi, what's new? Nothing much. What's new with you? Unit 9. H. Emphasizing pronouns. Step 1. Listen to this poem. Some pronouns starting with the letter H are said with the full form, but some are not. Do you understand why the underlined pronouns are emphasized? Check your answer on page 75. Behold the hippopotamus. We laugh at how he looks to us. And yet, in moments dark and grim, I wonder how we look to him. Peace, peace, thou hippopotamus. We really look all right to us, as you no doubt delight the eye of other hippopotami. Unit 9. K. Different vowel sounds for the letter A. Listen and circle the word you hear. 1. Pod. 2. Pan. 3. Pond. 4. Take. 5. Balk. 6. Stack. Seven. Cat. Unit nine. L. The contrast between aw and ah. Listen and circle the word you hear. One. Stock. Two. Dawn. Three, caught. Four, pod. Five, pond. Unit nine, M, dictation. Listen and write the sentences you hear. One, I'm afraid I cannot agree. Two. Was it his or mine? Three. I think I'd like both salad and soup. Four. No, the key is on the desk, not in the desk. Five. No, it is not my fault. Unit ten. Continuance and stops. S and t. Unit ten. A. Introducing continuance and stops. Step two. For many sounds, we let the air flow through the mouth without stopping. These sounds are called continuants. Listen to this word and notice how the final sound continues. Bus. Step three. In other sounds, we stop the airflow inside the mouth. These sounds are called stops. Listen to this word and notice how the final sound stops. But. Unit ten, C. Which word is different? Listen. Mark the column for the word that is different. One. Lice, lice, light. Two. Base, 
Base. Bait. Three. Bat. Bat. Bats. Four. Face. Face. Fate. Five. Boss. Bought. Boss. Six. Toss. Toss. Taught. Seven. Pat. Pass. Pat. Eight. Coats. Coat. Coat. Unit ten. D. Which word do you hear? Step one. Listen. Circle the word you hear. One. Pat. Two. Bus. Three. Cat. Four. Might. Five. Rate. Six. Nice. Seven. Boats. Eight. Face. Nine. Tickets. Ten. Right. Unit ten. E. Music of English. Step one. Listen. Notice that a final s sound can mean the plural of a word. Did you say minute? Did you say minutes? Step two. Listen again and repeat each question until you can say it easily. Did you say minute? Did you say minutes? Unit ten. I. Linking with s. Step one. Listen and repeat these words. Link the final s to the vowel at the beginning of the next word. Less of. Pass it. Miss Sanderson. Unit ten. J. Linking with t. Step one. Listen and repeat these linked words. Notice that when t links with a vowel, it is said quickly and sounds like d. Get in. Right answer. Great ending. Unit ten. K. Practicing vowels with s and. Step one. Listen and circle the word you hear. One. At. Two. Bought. Three. Caught. Four. Rate. Five. Might. Six. Boss. Seven. Mace. Eight. Lice. Nine. Mouse. Ten. Peace. Unit ten. L. Dictation. Listen and write the sentences you hear. One. The tickets are in his pocket. Two. When will the maps be ready?
23. Did you say book or books? Four. Let's clean the mats and brass pot. Five. How do you spell boss? Unit 11. Continuance and stops. Er and d. Ul and d. Unit 11. A. Continuance and stops. Er and d. Step 1. Listen to this word and pay attention to the final er sound. Near. Step 2. Listen to this word and pay attention to the final sound. It is the stop sound d. Need. Unit 11. C. Which word do you hear? Step 1. Listen. Circle the word you hear. 1. Near. 2. Feed. 3. Paid. 4. Core. 5. Deal. 6. Dome. 7. Rent. 8. Rave. Unit 11. D. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. What color is rust? Usually orange. What color is dust? Usually gray. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. What color is rust? Usually orange. What color is dust? Usually gray. Unit 11. F. Linking with er. Step 1. Listen and repeat these linked words. Hear us. Pair of shoes. Her arm. Unit 11. G. Linking with d. Step 1. Listen and repeat these linked words. Paid Anne. I had it. Answered everyone. Unit 11. H. The sound combination erd. Step 1. Listen and circle the word you hear. This combination of consonants at the end of verbs usually means past tense. 1. Cheer. 2. Her. 3. Shared. 4. Prepared. Five, higher. Six, retired. Seven, bored. Eight, cared. Unit eleven, J, continuance and stops. All and. D. Step 1. The sound ul is another continuant sound. Listen to the word bell and pay close attention to the ul sound at the end of the word.
Bell. Unit 11. K. Which word do you hear? Listen. Circle the word you hear. 1. Bed. 2. Said. 3. Spell. 4. Failed. 5. Made. 6. Did. 7. Date. 8. Lime. 9. Doom. 10. Lawn. Unit 11. N. Linking with O. Step 1. Listen and repeat these linked words. Sell everything. Feel excited. I'll always. Unit 11. O. Contractions with final ul and d. Listen. You will hear either sentence A or sentence B. Circle the full form of the contraction you hear. 1. They'll ask a good question. 2. He'd answer soon. 3. Do you think they'll like it? 4. I said I'd do the work. 5. Who'll they ask? 6. Where'd Anne find one? Unit 11. P. The sound combination, old. Listen and repeat the words below. Concentrate on the combination of sounds at the end of each word. Filled. Sold. Failed. Called. Told. Spelled. Smiled. Sailed. Unit 11. Q. Music of English. Step 1. Listen. Did she succeed? No, quite the opposite. She failed. Step 2. Listen again and repeat each sentence until you can say it easily. Be sure to emphasize the focus words and end them with a stop sound. Did she succeed? No, quite the opposite. She failed. Unit 11. T. Practicing vowels with er, d, and ul. Step 1. Listen and circle the words you hear. 1. Fire. 2. Pure. 3. Higher. 4. Core. 5. Sad. 6. Feed. 7. Road. 8. Ride. 9. Feel. 10. Pale. Eleven. Mill. Twelve. Rail.
This is the end of Clear Speech Class Audio CD2. The program continues on CD3.